Hey guys, today we're going to talk about interrogative pronouns and adjectives. Interrogative pronouns are pronouns used to ask questions, direct questions, indirect questions, and they can function as the subject or the object. Now, among the primary interrogative pronouns we have what, who, whom, whose, and which. And there are others which you are also going to cover here, like whoever, whatever, whatsoever, whomsoever, and so on. Now, interrogative pronouns are typically used in indirect questions, and they can stand for the subject and object, as I just mentioned. Now, interrogative pronouns are usually at the beginning of the interrogative class, and they may be preceded by prepositions like for whom, with whom, and so on. Here are some examples of interrogative pronouns used as the subject. What happened to you? We're asking about the subject. Who did it? Whose is this bike? Which is yours? And here are some examples of interrogative pronouns used as the object. What did you see? You can see something, which is the object. So we are asking about the object. Who did you ask to go with you? Or whom did you ask to go with you? Now, whom is used as the object only, but nowadays who often is used instead of whom also when asking about the object. For whom was this concert? About the songs, which did you know before? The artists have beautiful voices. Whose did you like most? Indirect questions. Indirect questions are questions where we embed the actual question inside another question, usually to sound more polite. Here are some examples. Could you tell me what you saw? So here actually the answer could be yes or no, because the actual question is, could you tell me? So yes, I could or no, I couldn't. But what we really want to ask about is, what did you see? So, this is embedded into this bigger question to make this sound more polite. Some other examples. Would you tell me who is performing there? Do you know from whom I got the tickets? About the last couple songs. Can you explain to me who these were? Reported questions. Interrogative pronouns are also used in reported questions. Here are some examples. You didn't tell me whose they were. So we are now reporting what you didn't tell me. I just want to know what you saw. I sometimes wonder who they are. She asked him to invite to the concert. I couldn't figure out which was the bass guitar. Some more interrogative pronouns. As mentioned before, there are some more interrogative pronouns in English, maybe not used so often as the ones mentioned before. Here belong whatever, whoever, whomever, whichever, and the even less frequently used whatsoever, whosoever, whomsoever, and whichsoever. The latter ones are used almost exclusively in very formal or literary language. You often use these interrogative pronouns in questions to express surprise or confusion. Here are some examples. Something destroyed the whole city in an instant. Whatever could it be? Whoever would do such a stupid thing? Whomever did they meet in the middle of the destroyed city? They can stay, leave or help. Whichever are they going to choose? Interrogative adjectives. Some of the pronouns mentioned before can be used as interrogative adjectives as well. Then they are followed by noun phrases. In particular, he belong what, whose, and which. Have a look. What food is best before a race? Here we have a noun, so this is an adjective. Whose bike would you like to borrow next time? Which racetrack is the most difficult one? Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.